so now we don't want to convert from dollars so we'll say usd and let's say i'm from nigeria i want to convert dollars to naira i'm going to go to the website again and search for nigeria's currency code so we can see uh nigeria is ngn so i'm going to enter ngn and i'm going to press enter then it's going to ask me for amounts let's say i want to convert 500 dollars to naira i'm just going to enter 500 and it's going to take a short moment to convert everything and we can see converted amount. hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to make a simple currency converter using an api so the first thing you should do is that if you want you can create a project folder and inside a project folder create a python file and name it whatever you want i named mine conversos py so after doing that open this with your code editor i use visual studio code so this is it i have opened the project folder and file with my editor now let's move on i would like you to visit this link that shows up on the screen or you can check the description below you'll see the link there also so this is the website that is going to provide us with the api that we are going to use to build our currency converter i also want you to take note of other websites that we'll be using now different countries have their um, currency codes so we are going to also be using this website the, um, the, you can go visit the link with the link that shows up on the screen or you can check the description below so these are the different currency codes so then the first thing that we should do is that since we are working with python we should just come here and click python so we can see that there are some lines of code already written so let's navigate our way to the um, left we can see they've written currency conversion endpoints can be used to convert any amount from one currency to another in order to blah 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 so they've given us this information and if we go down you can see that there are two there are some requests that we can make and then there are, there are two that are required that is from and to what this means is that this the first one is asking us from what currency do you want to convert this particular amount and then two is the currency that you want to be converted to so the first thing that we should do is um copy all this code that they've, that they've given us come to our editor and then paste it there after pasting it i want you to make a slight change where this link is come here and clear everything after convert so this is exactly how it should look like now if we come back to the website we can see that there are two required um parameters the from and to that is the from currency and the to currency but since we are making a currency converter we are going to add another parameter which is amount if you come down we can see that it is optional but this is the amount to be converted therefore we're going to also need the amount parameter so after copying everything we need to define these parameters inside our code so i am going to show you how to do that now we are going to say put a comma here i will say params which stands for parameter and then we'll create a dictionary and inside the dictionary our first item will be um, the from so at this place we are going to create an input statement because we want the program to accept it accept um the uh inputs from the user we want the program to accept inputs from the user so we are going to say input enter from currency code so this program is going to request from the user to enter the from currency code the, that is the country's currency code so we're now going to put a comma here and then we're going to define the two parameter so we're going to put a colon here and another input statement and we'll say enter to currency code and then after doing this we'll put a comma also and then we'll create another item which is um amount so i would say amount and under input statements inside here we would, we would say enter amount 
So now we've already created these parameters, the front parameter, the two parameter, and the amount parameter. If we scroll down, we can see that, okay, we already see data is equal to response.json, then print data. But if we run this code like this, when it has calculated everything and is printing, printing out the result, it's going to print out a bunch of gibberish. Um, gibberish sorry. So we only want it to print out the result, that is the number that has been converted, the currency number. So what we're going to do is, that in, beside here, we're going to create a list. In, and inside the list, we're going to put result. So this is going to go into all the gibberish that is printing out. It's going to take in the result um, parameter. It's going to print out the value in our terminal. So let's just add a little bit of um, uh, let's just add a little bit of code here to make it look better when the result is being printed out. So we're going to say um, converted amount is equal to this so now we've written our code how do we actually know which okay let's put our code here how do we actually know which um currency code we can use how do we know what currency codes they are so like i said earlier this website already provides us with um different currency codes the link is in the description below so let's just run our code to see how uh, everything works everything is just 11 lines of code very short okay so let me raise it up and then let me bring my head over to this side so let's run the code and see how it responds uh, sorry this is taking time Okay, so the first thing is going to ask us is it's going to ask us the from currency that we're trying to convert the true currency and then the amount oh it says enter currency code why why is it saying enter currency code okay 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 enter from currency code so now we need to define the from currency so let's say i want to convert from dollars to naira I would come here and search for your um, United States of America and that should be United States so you can see that the country code and um, currency code is USD in capital letter so everything should be in capital letter so what we need to do is that in case a person enters everything in small letter we need to come here to our code and modify it and say dot upper so what this does is that if the person enters the currency code in um, lowercase is going to convert everything that the person types into um, capital letters so now we don't want to convert from dollars so we would say usd and let's say i'm from nigeria i want to convert dollars to naira i'm going to go to the website again and search for nigeria's currency code so we can see uh, nigeria is ngn so I'm going to enter NGN and I'm going to press enter then it's going to ask me for amounts let's say I want to convert $500 to Naira I'm also going to enter 500 and it's going to take a short moment to convert everything and we can see converted amount is equal to 205,637.2509 Naira so that is how to um, write a python program that converts different currencies together if you like seeing content like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe